Hello friends, good morning and this is Multiverse. Today uh, we will discuss about something called Fossil Galaxy. What are these Fossil Galaxies? It's amazing to even uh, hear about this. That there could be Fossil Galaxies floating around in the space. So don't go anywhere. Let us discuss more about this. Well, friends, uh, as the name suggests, the Fossil Galaxy is uh, a galaxy which is a relic of the past. Just like uh, we have the, uh, uh, you know, fossils found on the Earth. Similarly, we find the traces of the fossil stars and fossil. And why we call them fossil, I will explain that in a moment. But recently, a very interesting find has been uh, done by the astronomers where while examining the Andromeda galaxy, they spotted a fossil galaxy rotating around the Andromeda galaxy. And here I want to classify, uh, clarify that uh, there is a lot of difference between a fossil galaxy and a dwarf galaxy. Dwarf galaxy can be a smaller galaxy, but it is not a fossil galaxy. So what is the fossil galaxy? Let's understand um, uh, more in detail about uh, this fossil galaxy. And uh, the new uh, uh, galaxy which has been found has been named as Pegasus 5. And uh, why this is uh, classified as uh, fossil galaxy? Simply because it has very uh, faint stars. And typically uh, we assume that the fossil galaxies were formed very early in the life uh, time of the universe when the universe was just forming and the first generation stars were formed. And uh, since those, gen uh, those early stars did not have a uh, lot of heavier elements, so typically these uh, uh, smaller galaxies are very rich in the uh, basic building blocks like hydrogen and helium. And uh, since uh, they did not grow further, and because of that, they did not have a lot of material, heavier elements in those stars. And uh, after so many years, because I think the sun, as we know it, is the third generation star that means the first generation are born and exploded very early in the universe into supernova and then second generation and the third generation which is sun so typically the ancient galaxies which do not have the heavier elements like uh, carbon iron copper gold etc are considered to be very ancient and uh, they seems to have lot of ancient stars and when we say that ancient because they are very mild you know these are very faint stars very difficult to look at they produce very little light and uh, and they are called faint stars because they are primarily uh, made of hydrogen and helium and very old so they are mostly uh, run out of their uh, uh, engine and they are uh, basically not running producing a lot of light so when we find a galaxy which is filled with these stars we call them fossil galaxy because they are the relic of the past and uh, so fortunately uh, while looking at the while examining the Andromeda galaxy scientists found that there is a, a small galaxy rotating around the Andromeda galaxy and uh, uh, and this uh, uh, is basically consisting primarily of all the faint stars very very uh, uh, low shining uh, low heat stars and that is why we call them faint uh, uh, stars and if the galaxy if the collection of these faint stars are predominantly found in one galaxy we call this a fossil galaxy and as i said these are the first galaxies to form and uh, since they are very very old it will be very interesting to know how the environment would have been at the uh, uh, at the early stages of the universe uh, what were the conditions to form these stars so that is why it is very interesting to know uh, the fossil galaxies and to study them, especially to understand more about the early universe. And uh, 
since they do not have lot of material left in them uh, they glow very light and there is no new star formation happening in the uh, uh, very old galaxies which are no uh, which we call fossil galaxies uh, simply because when there are no new stars being formed most of the material which is found is uh, more or less settled in the uh, stars which are there and very old stars and therefore it is very interesting to understand and uh, you know study these fossil galaxies to understand how our universe formed in the first uh, place and it will be a very surprising form because i think to differentiate between a dwarf galaxy and a fossil galaxy i think it's also important because dwarf galaxies uh, are uh, the newer galaxies but they are small fossil galaxies are small but the material is very old and one way to identify a fossil galaxy from a dwarf galaxy is to basically look for heavier element and if the galaxy is uh, not showing any signs of heavier element in any of the stars we consider that as a fossil galaxy so this galaxy which has been found has been named as uh, uh, pegasus uh, which is found uh, rotating around andromeda galaxy and as you know andromeda is uh, basically coming towards earth towards the galaxy milky way and in 2.5 billion years estimated time frame the andromeda will collide with milky way so we have a lot of time to examine pegasus and uh, this is actual picture of picture of the Pe pegasus which uh, scientists have been able to take and uh, as you can see this is very faint and the brightness of this galaxy is not more than the surrounding stars as you can see so it's very very faint very difficult to understand uh, but it will uh, open up the secrets buried secrets about the early uh, form of universe when the universe was still forming so friends uh, this is something which is uh, uh, which i thought uh, is a latest finding a lot of uh, excitement is there in the scientific community about uh, studying pegasus about uh, learning about the early uh, shape and features of the universe and i thought i will briefly talk about this in today's multiverse so if you have any thoughts any comments do send in uh, your comments and i will catch you in the next edition of multiverse until then bye bye